Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool a Week. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, if you ask me, somebody had commented in the comments below, Hey, can you take a look at pocket thermometers? So this week we're going to be looking at pocket thermometers. So I went ahead and did some research and took a look at some pocket thermometers and I actually found two great thermometers that I think you'll love and carry with you all the time. So this week we're going to be looking at the Klein Tools Dual IR Probe Thermometer IR007 IR model number and we're also going to be looking at the field piece IR and raw thermometer with a laser or the model SPK3 as you can see right here I went ahead and purchased them and opened it up and took a look at them so let's go ahead and open these babies up there we go move the instructions over here and let's take out this baby right here so as you can tell they're both going to be pretty small little features right here they're going to be neat little probes right here now there's going to be a bunch of similar functions so let's go ahead and get with the similarities so first of all they're both going to carry two double a batteries and they're going to be included with them as well now another feature that they're going to have they're both going to be probe thermometers as you can see right there there's a probe for this one and there's going to be the probe for the field piece right there and another cool feature is going to be they're both going to be infrared thermometers so if you hold this baby down right there it's gonna pop on and you can have a laser as you can see and it's gonna read temperature right there and so will the client so the client you're gonna go ahead and hold it down right there and you can see the laser right there and you're gonna get a temperature now they're both gonna have LED displays in the back but the client if you ask me is going to be just a tad bit bigger display so another cool feature that they're both going to have is going to be they both have this 8 to 1 ratio distance so whenever the infrared probe is going to be an 8 to 1 ratio as far as distance from the spot and of course they're both going to have the lasers to guide you where they're going to be going now they're also both going to have hanging hooks right here so let me go ahead and open this up there's one little hook right there and the Klein has the other hook right there that way you could stick them in grates or whatever that way it could be holding itself steady now also they're both going to have the functions of Fahrenheit to Celsius on these babies and you're also going to have different differential temperatures and you're going to have mix and minus I'm sorry max and minus and you're also going to have the whole buttons and they're both going to have auto power on and off so after a while they're both going to turn off now a cool feature that I did like was that the Klein whenever you slide it open right there it turns on right away and it turns off on it and you could also just hold it down with that but as far as that there wasn't too ma many difference so let's get into the differences so of course temperature wise the Klein's going to measure for negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit up to 572 degrees Fahrenheit so that's going to be the Klein right here and also now the SPK3 is going to have the Pro feature so you're going to open it up and the Pro by itself is going to measure negative 40 to 240 degrees Fahrenheit and the infrared is going to be a lot more than the Klein which is going to be negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit up to 932 degrees Fahrenheit which is a good amount difference so that if you measure anything above 572 degrees Fahrenheit boilers or anything exceeding really really hot guys uh, then you'll probably want to go ahead and go with the SPK3 just because it's going to measure higher temperatures on that now of course you're going to have a lock clip to unlock the probe so as you can see right here the little lock and it's going to go ahead and open it and it's going to lock and you're able to lock it right there and that's not going to go anywhere on that now the client all it's going to have it's going to be a knob right here that way you don't have no no 
temperature transfer and it's gonna just slide open if you ask me I like this feature a little better just because sometimes I'm using my other hands to do something and then I gotta come in and have a dual wheeling instead of just having one hand and like a knife just go ahead and open it up and it turns on on its own so that's a cool nice little feature for the client and of course the SPK3 is also going to come with a pocket clip that way in case you want to hang it in your back pocket or in your front pocket they're both going to be a good amount size so I'm not too sure if you're going to want to hang it on your your shirt pocket just because of the little weight that you're going to have on there but of course you always have that option now the client does not come with a clip or anything like that but they did include this nice little pouch right here that SPK that the field piece SPK does not come with a pouch it's just a clip and itself so it comes with a nice little pouch right here that you can keep it nice nice and safe and you know where it's at and you have a belt clip if you want to hang it or if you want to put a anything a tethering whatever just to keep it in your pocket now of course another feature that the client offers and I did not see it with the field piece is the clients gonna offer a 6.6 .6 foot drop test or and an IP 54 rating for it so you can drop it up to six feet and client says that it's not gonna have it's not gonna have any damage to it now of course the field piece does not give me anything like that and you do feel the difference a little more rugged as far as the case and this one uh, I got a feeling if you drop it a good amount a good height I might damage it on that part so that's another difference of course we're always dropping stuff if not the apprentice is always dropping something but like I said keep that in mind so now the last difference is going to be the price range now what is it that you're going to be looking at now the price for the client is going to run you about fifty five dollars and eleven cents and the price for the field piece SPK3 is going to run you about eighty four dollars and fifteen cents now I did went ahead and test them um, I tested them out with some ice water and I saw about a two degree differential on that so keep that in mind guys now which one's going to be more accurate I want to say maybe the field piece for the price you're getting and also field piece has been in the temperature and thermometer industry for a very long time so clients just getting into it but if you ask me the clients just a great bargain for your bang for your buck so whatever you want to choose I'll let y'all pick on that and like I said they're both going to be very similar just a few differences that I did mention on that so if anything guys let me know what y'all think in the comments below and as always if you want me to take a look at tools please leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I can as always thanks for watching one tool a week guys